Hello YouTube, uh, today I've taken delivery of a brand new Damson Audio Sizer BT5. Now Damson Audio uh, are a new company by the looks of things, um, I think this is their first product that they're releasing and it's been getting a lot of press uh, um, purely for its novelty factor and also its performance factor as well so um, I was immediately intrigued by the whole product and had to pick one up. So what this is, is a a Bluetooth speaker that uses the latest incisor diffusion technology to deliver a 360 audio uh, from a single compact unit. So what I've got is the actual box for the unit itself here and the suction cup accessory which uh, has come apart in the packaging. The glue is obviously not uh, ex uh, kept it very well together but you can see I've got the suction cup adapter here which is quite small and well, I'll give that a try at a later date, I guess. Um, okay, so this is the actual sizer box itself. So, resonating mobile Bluetooth speaker. Uh, Damsonaudio.com is the website. As you can see, they released them in uh, a few different varieties of colours. Um, designed in Yorkshire, which is good. Nice to see some, uh, as I live in Yorkshire at the moment, it's nice to see some uh, technology being developed in the region. Uh, you've got a QR code there for, I guess it probably takes you to their website. Uh, Amson logo. Massive sound from a tiny package engineered from a single piece of aluminium. The Damson sizer incorporates innovative technology that transfers and amplifies sound through almost any surface. Virtually anything can now become a loudspeaker. So you can see it's compatible with the PC, Apple, Apple uh, products, Android, anything with Bluetooth and a 3.5mm jack input. And they obviously put on phones and iPads, etc., logos, etc. 360 degree sound, 5 watt uh, capacity. Um, and then we've got the back of it here, giving some more information regarding how the operation of the uh, the product works through Bluetooth setup, uh, three and a half mil jack setups, uh, charging, how to turn it on and off, etc. And after that, that's pretty much everything that's in the box. So let's uh, let's try and get into it. So the outer sleeve comes off like that, shove that in the back, and it's a standard black box with the Damson logo, uh, which lifts off like so. Okay, nice nice packaging, I must admit, it's quite, it feels heavy already. Um, I like the packaging with the logo, the nice cutout there in the box, hear it, feel it, it's their uh, slogan. Um, so I'm guessing this pops out like that and here we have it so I got mine in black it comes out in all kinds of little packaging it is well packaged I must admit uh, okay I've got it. okay so I've got some cables here for obviously for powering it I guess for USB and also plugging in a three and a half mil jack which I'm guessing that obviously plugs into your computer of some kind as well uh, for audio transfer. Okay, and the units. That's up. Okay, here we go. It is quite heavy actually, more so than I was expecting it to be, which is good, which is, is very good. So apparently it weighs 326 grams, 11.5 uh, ounces. And dimensions are 55 millimeters by 54 millimeters, and uh, there you go. Designed in Yorkshire, made in China, and this is it, really. This is one resonating speaker on the back. You can see if I bring it up close, you can see the on-off switch and the Bluetooth switch, and a DC 5 volts line in, which is obviously for charging it. I presume it's an LED to mark it's charging and that's an LED to mark it's on. And it is really just a single piece of aluminium. But it looks like a nice chrome effect, etc. on the side here. And there's the bottom, obviously, which uh, with, with the Damson logo on it. Which is what you rest on um, onto your table, I guess, or anything else. When you're actually playing sound through it. Um, I will give demonstration of the device working later on in this video. This is just the first part which is the uh, the unboxing so you'd know what to expect when you get the product but first la first impressions are it's it's beautifully manufactured it's uh, 
very petite it feels weighty feels solid there's nothing feeling loose or anything else about it got a plastic sleeve on the top here obviously needs to peel off um, and the Damson logo on the bottom and so yeah so that's that's it and we also get a uh, a pouch as well for it which is nice travel pouch which obviously with a product like this you're probably going to want seeing as it's so small you're probably going to want to take it on holiday with you etc so you know you can plug your any kind of bluetooth device connected in wirelessly into this and be able to you know listen to your music or watch a movie or whatever else on your portable device in your hotel room or traveling etc so that's uh, what I did get actually uh, in, during the order process was uh, an email from Damson uh, telling me that uh, a few instructions which aren't listed in any kind of manual because as you can see there isn't there's nothing in the box there's nothing on the bottom of that it's just a uh, another piece of foam protection and that's obviously the other piece which goes back inside and there's nothing in there either so that's another piece of phone protection as well so there's nothing no instructions per se in the in the actual box and I'm guessing you're just really using what's on the back of the box uh, it says if you throw away the instructions uh, please go to damsonaudio.com uh, so you can get the instructions back again uh, but what isn't on them is an extra set of instructions which have come to me by email which say that uh, please allow a first charge of eight hours or more to fully charge the battery uh, this will ensure that you will not encounter any issues with Bluetooth so as far as my understanding looking into this you have to charge the device for eight hours um, afterwards once it's had one full charge like that uh, every other charge is about typically about three to four hours I believe um, so time will tell on that I guess um, with Bluetooth operation, it gives you four, three to four hours of opera of 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 operation of life. Um, if you're using the line in, uh, then it's um, up to eight hours, I believe. Oh, I see. I thought it was actually a three and a half mil. There was a three and a half mil jack on this, but it's not. It's a. It's this little adapter you use here. So. So the USB goes in, obviously, into there, and then that's the three and a half mil input. Um, into your computer. It's a bit strange how you know you've got a black unit, a black device, and a white cable. It would have probably been nicer to have a a color coded cable. Cable looks a bit flimsy, to be honest, compared to the actual device itself. Um, but if they were the same color, it probably would have been a bit nicer if you were actually going to use this uh, connect it into your headphone jack or whatever else have you got on your computer or your portable media device, etc. Uh, so yeah, I've got to charge it for eight hours before I can use it and um, and show it off. Um, it mentions there is a protective film on top of the sizer. It's not clear, and it and it and it is there as it's not clear. It is there as there is unfortunately no tab to uh, help peel it back. Please give the top a scratch, and you'll be able to feel it, which is obviously this bit here. So that needs to obviously come off. Um, if you've bought a suction cup, please also remove the film etc so yeah the main thing is obviously you have to charge it as soon as you get it for eight hours so I'm going to do that now and um, I will post some videos etc of the device later on when I've uh, actually got it up and running and so you can hopefully try and hear the sound quality as much as you can anyway through while I'm recording which is here it's on an iPhone so I'll give you a demonstration of the device anyway so that's the first part of the video and um, I'll be back soon Okay, so I'm back you now after charging up the uh, the Damson Sizer BT5 uh, Bluetooth speaker. So here we have it on the table in front of me in all its glory. And it's currently turned off at the moment, as you can see. Okay, there you go. So none of the lights are on. That's it in size and I've got my iPad here beside me so I'll give you an idea of what it looks like in proportion to an iPad etc if I stand up and just zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see there so I'm just going to play a couple of sounds first of all um, just from the iPad so you can kind of put things into perspective a little bit from what I'm trying to do here so this is just a, a music track
Just playing this off of YouTube. Okay, so that's it playing from the speaker on the actual iPad itself. Um, so if I enable Bluetooth, which is, is on on my iPad, and if I turn on... I've already paired this up before, so if I flick this over, you get the little noise, and you can hear it, and Bluetooth is enabled, and it's ready. It should be able to play now off this device. Now, I'm not going to place it on anything. I'm going to hold it in my hand so you'll hear it from this first. Oops. Drop that down a bit. Okay, so there you go, the volume is pretty much the same as what it was before. Nothing particularly special about the sound that's coming from it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop it onto this wooden table. As you can hear, it's quite a big difference. Uh, of course, this is coming from a music track just playing off YouTube as well, so it's not a particularly m massively great encoded sound, but uh, you know that makes a massive difference just listening to that. And of course, you can play around with the sound of these by placing them onto different objects. So if I place it onto a book onto the table, for instance, or onto a hollow cardboard box. Or onto the other cardboard, the, the box of its, of its own. to a plastic container. And finally onto a saucepan. I think you uh, you pretty much get the idea, but for me, I mean, it just off directly off the wooden table sounds pretty immense. Actually, I've got a glass table beside me here, so I'm just going to put it onto here and see what it sounds like here. So overall, I think that's pretty immense. I mean, it just takes any object and pretty much turns it into a speaker and from such a small little device. I think it's pretty superb, to be honest. Um, of course, it's not just useful for any, you know, for just music or whatever. For instance, right now at the moment, uh, Italy are playing Croatia in the Euro football. Ideas 
said you said before. Looking for Modric to get involved in the game. Cerner as well. Yes. Perisic on his left hand side. Three minutes to go. And the opening 45. Ooh, that wasn't far away from the sound is difference is absolutely phenomenal you know just listening to commentary etc and the sound of what is, uh, the ambient sound of the stadium noise etc is just amazing compared to uh, just coming from the speaker of the iPad and rather than pushing it through to the BT5 the BT5 is just immense There you go. I think uh, hopefully that gives you some idea of what uh, you come to expect from this little device. I mean, if you're an audiophile, you're going to be able to pick holes in this, the quality of sound. But for anybody who just wants to take one of these little devices around for, you know, for portability of having any kind of sound system or any kind of better sound from uh, your portable devices, I think this is an absolute winner. I absolutely really love it. So I think it's a fantastic little device. I know the price is uh, currently £100 on Amazon, uh, 99 maybe could be, I, I think they launched it at about £80, so maybe they, they, they're an opportunity to bring the price down again, um, and I do hope that they maybe consider changing the uh, the cable that comes with the device, um, uh, the USB cable etc, maybe look to colour code it with the device itself, but apart from that, I, I haven't got a lot of negativity to say, I think it's really well built. It's it's really heavy. It feels solid, and uh, you know it's fun to just be able to walk around and stick it onto different surfaces and see what kind of sound it gives you and uh, all the different types of surfaces, and uh, kind of kind of find something that uh, suits your audio needs. But um, it definitely does make a, a dramatic in uh, difference on your generic sound coming from your portable devices. So highly recommended. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please rate and subscribe.